What's up guys, Carlos with Eco Fishing Shop. Today, we're gonna bring you an unboxing video of a Garmin 93SV UHD Graph. Um, yeah, let's dive into this bad boy and see what all it is. First thing right out of the box, your gimbal bracket. It's gonna be for mounting your, your actual graph to whatever it is, your boat, your kayak, however, whatever your platform you're fishing off of. Um, let's see, this is a, this is a replacement. Let me see, let me turn it around. Well, I know the package messed up, but it's actually a replacement fittings, like for your wiring. They're threaded. I guess that way if you break one, you can replace it. It's kind of cool. Uh, here you have a transducer mount that goes on the bottom of uh, your trolling motor and they even sent the supplied they supplied the uh, C clamps another cool thing and then Garmin one thing I've noticed about Garmin is they send so much hardware um, kind of not used to that I'm assuming this okay so this is gonna be let's get it out of the package this is going to be a mount for your actual transducer. It's going to be more your typical. Um, here's actually the bracket it goes on. This would be like if you were going to mount it on the bottom of your hole or for your kayak guys, your transducer mounts. But let's see if we can just kind of makeshift put this together. So that would be like you old town guys right under your keel. That's going to bolt to your keel. You know, and have your swivel, which I have it upside down, unfortunately. So it's gonna go more like that. Um, but yeah. So, and then your transducer is gonna bolt directly to that using your screws there. So that's cool. Then it's, of course, they supply you with all the hardware to either mount it to the back of your hole um, I probably ought to keep this together that way I know what goes to what. We're going to be mounting this on an Old Town Autopilot 136. So that video is coming up next. You guys make sure and keep an eye out for that. Next we have a... Well, to be honest, the only thing I'm thinking this is for is for your wiring. Wherever you drill a hole, I'm guessing they gave you a little cap and cover. So that's pretty neat. That's something I haven't seen in a graph, come in a graph box yet. Which I'm new to Garmin. So, of course they give you all your, all your literature. Like most of them do. Hopefully they're better than Lawrence and Humminbird. Their literature's kind of, uh, it's not very good. And then I'm assuming Assuming this is just gonna be the transducer itself. Yeah. So this is just the transducer itself. Man, this thing is a monster. Golly. Yeah, that's that's a monster. Um I'm I'm gonna be switching from Humminbird, so you know a Humminbird side you know mega side imaging uh transducer is like half of this but i know it can be done and we're gonna do a video on that so let's keep going another thing that i uh so this is uh, i guess like your quick disconnect it's kind of like the old uh car radios you know where you could take the face plate off that's uh one thing that i love about garmin this is pretty cool so you could keep this on your kayak or your boat and just simply pop off your actual monitor and leave all of your wiring plugs which they come every wiring port comes with its own plug keep water and all that good stuff out but you can simply leave all of your wiring connected and uh, I think that's cool that's where all your all of its ran through there you know once you snap on your actual graph let's get the graph out and let's show you how that goes And one cool thing 
is it actually comes with a sun cover. I don't know if maybe Lowrance does or Hummingbird when you get into their higher end units, but uh, this one is uh, pretty cool. It comes with it, and that's what we have. It's the Garmin UHD 93SV touch screen. I can't wait to power this thing up on the on the old toe. It's going to be pretty sweet. So then, all you simply do is pop it in there, snap it on, and you are good to go. Plug your wiring in, and then when you get ready to leave the lake, pull down on that tab. Make sure it's clipped in. Pull down on that tab. Oh, now it's not going to want to come out. Of course, it's my luck. There we go. It takes a little bit of muscle, but then it just comes off. Put your sun cover on. And you can throw that thing right up in the right up in your back seat, your front seat, trunk, whatever you want. And you can actually leave that mounted. You don't have to worry about anyone actually stealing your graph. So, cuz I mean, let's face it, this is where the money's at. So, yeah, I mean, so far, they also give you mounting instructions for you guys that have bass boats um, that want to mount it on your console. This looks like your power wire, fuse included, so that's good. And then it comes with a lot of other things that honestly I need to uh, read up on. I don't know what that's for, to be honest with you. Your bolts for your gimbal. Hey, comes with a sticker. You know we all love stickers. Also comes with foam. Foam strips for your mounting. If you're going to mount it on your console. Uh, more literature, of course. And then, of course, some more hardware. So, yeah. So, uh, stay tuned. We're going to mount this again, like I said, on an Autopilot 136 Old Town. And, uh... That video is going to be coming out soon. So, anyways, I hope everyone had a great day and thanks for watching. Peace.